chapter 4, verses 1 and 2, he says, um, I charge you in the presence of God and of Christ Jesus, who is to judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing um, and his kingdom to preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. And here's our words again. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with complete patience and teaching. And uh, obviously this is a favorite text of mine. If I was gonna summarize it, I would, it would be, um, Timothy, you preach the word and be accountable to God, be available when it's convenient or inconvenient and make it applicable. I mean, apply it to your people. Preach faithfully, preach consistently, um, preach pastorally, preach in a way that's gonna help your people. Uh, first, you, you're accountable. He says, preach the word. He says, I charge you to preach the word before God and Jesus Christ, who's coming again. So preach in light of that holy accountability, Timothy. Uh, when you um, come to the text to study, when you deliver the text on Sunday morning, you are first and foremost accountable, not to your um, friends, not to your uh, fans or your competition or the people who like you, don't like you. You're not even accountable to your church. You are first and foremost accountable to your God for how you handle the text. And so when I preach, I'm asking questions like, or I'm not asking questions like, well, did they like me? Or um, was it entertaining? Did I have a good joke? Um, I, I ask those questions, but those aren't the questions I should be asking. The, the questions that I should be asking and do ask are, is God pleased with how I um, treated the text? Was I faithful to what he said? Did I tell them what he told me? Did, I, did, did what God put in the word, is that what I shared with them or I share something different? I give my own opinion. Is he, is he pleased with how I, um, with how I my motivation, with, 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 is he pleased with my love for the church? Do, do I care that they benefit from the word of God? Because I'm accountable first and foremost to him. Uh, Hebrews chapter 13 verse four says um, that your leaders, your church leaders, your pastors, are accountable to God for you. So I'm giving an account for all, every single one of you peeps, you beautiful people. Uh, and I don't know, half, half of you, I mean, the church is getting bigger and bigger and I don't know people like I used to know people, that's really frustrating. And so we're trying to find ways to help me be accountable to God in a faithful way. But at the end of the day, I give an account to you for how I handle the word. So be accountable. Be faithful in how you proclaim the text. It's important.